In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create the slot machine title animation. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. We'll set up the beginning first and then turn it into a title animation. Let's get started. Surprise! First, let's set up the comps we need. Let's name the first one title animation. HD resolution, three seconds long. We add a new solid, name it background. Color doesn't matter. Then we use the effects and presets window to add a gradient ramp. Let's change the direction of the ramp into diagonal. We place the points in opposite corners. Let's change the bottom left color into a dark blue. The top right color into a dark purple. And we add quite a bit of ramp scatter to avoid color bending. Next, we add our title using the title tool. I use New Cable Black, size around 160 pixels. The font is available on Adobe Fonts. We switch back to the selection tool and align it to the center using the alignment tool. With no layer selected, we use the rectangle tool to add a shape that covers the title. No stroke. And let's use a gradient fill. For the gradient, let's use two colors that are related to the background, but brighter. A dark purple on the left and a orange-pink mix on the right. We switch to the selection tool and adjust the direction of the ramp. Let's move it below the text layer and make sure there's some padding all around the text. Finally, we align the shape to the center as well. Awesome! Next, we create the second comp for the first part of the title animation. Let's name it Letter. Half the width this time, 960 by 1080 pixels. Again, we add a solid, name it Background. And add a gradient ramp. A diagonal direction for the color ramp, of course. And let's go from red or better magenta in the bottom left corner to orange in the top right corner. Then we use the title tool again to add a capital letter. Whichever you want. Your choice. Size around 940. Very random number. Depending on the font you use. And let's align it to the center again. And what I like to do is to reduce the opacity of the letter slightly to 95%. So that the white is a little less shiny. I think, yes, we forgot to add ram scatter to the gradient. All right, focus. Next, we duplicate the comp. Open it and replace the letter. Again, whichever you want. Then we change the background colors. How about a cyan green combination? Awesome. One more time, we duplicate it, replace the letter. Using letters that are in your title would be good though. And I wanna use two blues this time. The colors are totally up to you, of course. I want the beginning of the title animation to be quite colorful. Not too dark though. All right, then we duplicate one of the comps and name it Icon, because we want a mix of letters and shapes. We delete the letter and double click on the star tool. We use a white fill this time. Awesome. We open the polystar path property and reduce the inner and outer radius a little. This time let's change the gradient colors into a dark yellow, orange actually, and a bright, almost white yellow. We duplicate this comp one last time, open it and delete the shape. Let's double click on the polygon tool this time. We open the polygon path property and reduce the corners to three. We slightly reduce the radius and position it in the center. Maybe even a little smaller. All right, that's all comps we need for now. Let's set up the title animation. We open the title animation comp and add one of the letter comps. We use the effects and presets window to add CC vignette to slightly darken the edges of the comp. Amount around 75, angle of view, around 35. Let's start with the left column. Therefore, we change the X position to 480, which is half the width. Then we duplicate the comp and move it above 
So we add the height to the y position. As we move up, we actually subtract it. Minus 1080. Let's zoom out. Here it is. We duplicate the top composition and subtract 1080 again. We repeat that until we have five comps, stacked on top of each other. Awesome! Then we duplicate all of them. Move them to the top of the layer stacking order. Then, for a better orientation, let's change the label color. Next, we link the four green top letter comps to the bottom one, using the pick whip tool. Same for the other ones. We link the four top ones to the bottom one. Then let's change the X position of the green layers to 1440 to move them into the right half of the comp. And let's move it down to 960 pixels. Before animating the title, let's take a quick moment to look at the 750 plus motion graphics advanced pack. It comes with its own extension, so you can preview all elements directly in After Effects, from fully animated slideshows to transitions, shape elements, title animations and lower thirds, and so much more. Let's apply this big title to our comp with just one click. Let's go into the comp and change the text. How about combining it with an animated background? Again, we go into the comp, adjust the colors in the control layer. Plus, let's add animated lines at the beginning. It's that easy and fast. Make sure to check out the link in the description below. This pack will save you a lot of time doing client work, which you can use to create unique stuff for yourself, for example. Link is in the description. Awesome, now let's get the title moving. We open the position properties of the two unlinked letter comps and add position keyframes at the beginning. At 24 frames, we move the left column down until it is just out of the screen. It is five times the height, 5,940. <laughs> and I needed a calculator for that. Three frames later, we move the right column out of the screen. Why? 5,940 as well. Next, we select all four keyframes, open the graph editor to adjust the speed curves. We slow down the end of the animations and the beginnings. And it's okay for one of the columns to be faster than the other. We want that actually. Let's check it out. Awesome. Then let's add a reflection. We add a new solid, name it Reflection. Color a very bright yellow. I need a bit of space now. We use the rectangle tool to add a mask that covers the top half of the comp, roughly. Then we transform the mask, rotate it left, maybe move it up a little. Next, we add an ellipse mask. The top part intersects with the first mask. We set its mode to intersect. Open the mask property, then we add a mask feather of around 1000 pixels. We reduce the opacity of the layer to around 10% and set the blending mode of the layer to add. Next, we slightly want to offset the edge of the reflection on the right column. We select the layer, choose the rectangle tool and double click on it. Click on the shape property and set the right edge to 960 pixels. Then the blending mode to subtract. Let's see. This is now the reflection on the right column. We duplicate the layer, open the mask property and move the mask shape into the right half by adjusting the shape values. 960 left and 1920 is the right edge. Then we move the bottom edge of the top mask slightly up. Awesome, another nice little detail. Now let's animate the ending. We solo the text layer and the shape. Then we add CC line sweep to the shape layer. We set the direction to 90 degrees, the thickness to around 130. Then we set a completion keyframe. We press U to see the keyframe in the timeline. Next we add a position animator to the text layer. Click on the Animate menu, select Position, we set the Y position to, to around minus 200, 
Then we add a start keyframe. Then we press U again to see this keyframe in the timeline. Let's actually move the two keyframes to 16 frames. Then at 48 frames, we set the start value to 100%, as well as the completion value. As you probably just saw, the transition is moving in the wrong direction. So we need to flip the direction in the effect. That's better. We select the keyframes, open the graph editor and slow down the beginning and end of the animation. One last thing we need to do here, hide the title in the beginning. Therefore, we simply add a set matte effect to the text layer. And take the matte from the shape layer. It is important to repeat one animation principle throughout a title animation, instead of mixing a lot of things. And that's exactly what we do here. So one last thing we need to do is connect the beginning and the end. We pre-comp the bottom three layers. Name the comp pre-title. We move it to the top because we don't want to see the reflection in the end. Next we split the title into the two columns. We move the time indicator towards the end and add a rectangular mask. Adjust the right edge in the mask shape property, 960. Then we duplicate the comp and set the blending mode to subtract. Now we need to make sure we link the right part of the pre-comp to the right column. Looks good. Then we link the left part of the pre-comp to the left letter comp, which is animated. Awesome. And last but not least, replace the letter comms with some of the other comms we created at the beginning. I mean, except you're okay with boring. Make sure to check out the links in the description. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, because you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.